Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Peter Malnati, who almost got it done, played an incredible round, nine under par, final round at Sanderson Farms, so incredible golf, clearly loves that golf course, and as we look at this golf swing, it is amazing, he does things that other players don't do on tour, certainly it costs him some power, but his preparation, mental game carries him through, so setup wise, as you can see here, a little rounded in the mid back, kind of uncharacteristic for these days. As he goes back, club on a nice plane going back, raises a little bit up out of his posture, slightly laid off, and as he starts it down, definitely shallows it, gets it back on a decent line, but as you can tell, he's starting to get out of his posture, and technically he's sending the club out off the plane this direction. And based on his body motion through the, sh the hitting zone right here his hands are well off the plane he's come up and out of it like, like we said a second ago he's technically up and out of his posture and as he comes through impact like he said he's off plane the club's outside the plane which should produce too many shots going this way and this way this should not be a recipe for consistency now he ends up getting extremely low through his follow through, which is quite interesting because he actually hangs on to the shot a bit when he's playing his best, and the release is somewhat held off. As you can see there, the, the hands and arms keeping that club face in a pretty neutral position on the way through, but unbelievably different than a lot of players. He is not doing the characteristic in the legs and then producing the ground force for power. And you can see it with his stats. He's 200 and something in driving distance, less than 300 yards on average. But great iron player, great feel, great preparation. This is shot during the tournament. He actually holds the shot, made a hole-in-one. Super flexible player, no question. He definitely has the, the body to move in an incredible flexibility through the hips. And back as he gets down super low through this shot. And once again, the club face and release so interesting as he comes through with what a club should be off the plane through the hitting zone, creating trouble. And yet, as he's going through on this part of the golf swing over here, this body motion of getting super low and hanging onto the club creates some club face control. Maybe not with the driver, but certainly with the irons, he has got that thing working. You can see how full his finish is with his left foot planted on the ground, crazy flexible in the in the hips and low back. And like I said, look at that release point. You can hear release in his hands. He's just holding that thing off to give him the face control he needs for these solid iron strikes. This video here, the only one in slow-mo where we can kind of see a little more straight down the line. And basically as he goes back, club face not rotating a lot. And so I'd say to his credit, he's playing golf with a fairly neutral feeling through his hands and arms. He's not twisting the club open a lot. He's not hinging it a lot. And as he starts it down, even in this part right here, club face looking more closed than anything at this point, which would give him the ability, even though he's getting off that swing plane with his hands, with the face already quite square, he will be able to hold on to it to some degree. I mean, it certainly looks like it's twisting on this shot more than some of the other videos we saw where that club face is more twisted over. But when he's playing his best, I have a feeling you see very little of that relative to this swing. But once again, all these players, the physical uh, giftedness they have, look at that left foot planted in the ground, completely through the shot, bent to the side, with no trouble. I mean, that is easy for his body to do that, and I'm not sure it's easy for the rest of us. This video here really shows how he sort of lacks the power through his leg work. Will he change it? Who knows? He's about 5'10", 5'11", and 160 pounds, so he could rip it out there. Certainly Sergio or uh, Rory McIlroy isn't that much uh, bigger than he is, but uses the legs totally differently. So here is a hybrid off a down or a ball below his foot lie. There's that club going up without much twisting or hinging. 
You can see there, not a lot of set in the wrist at this point. As he comes down, staying down to get to the ball because it is on a down slope. Certainly the ball is below his feet. And there's a sort of hanging on look to his arms and body, dipping down. Look at the leg work there. So like I said, the opposite of the power players who are using the ground for power. He's actually just sinking into the ground and hanging onto the club face. So trying to control the direction, certainly more than ripping it 350 yards. It'll be great to follow this player through his career to see what happens. Does he get stronger? Does he change his technique? What happens to his game? Because certainly uncharacteristic to see not as much hinge in this leg work where he's really just sinking into the ground. And certainly at this point, there's some ground pressure there, without a doubt. He's got some pressure through the ground to create some force, but not like you see some players. And certainly the sagging in the legs, not something you see from most players. Certainly you see it in a Jim Furyk and some of the players, Tom Lehman, but more known, those players are more known for driving it straight than they are for driving it far. Just amazing. Looks like he's dislocating his left foot or ankle there. <laughs> it's amazing the flexibility that he has. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this short video. Peter Malnati here working on some technique, trying to get some hip rotation instead of that hip slide. And we'll see what happens. Your takeaway from this as a player would be you don't have to be the longest player out there to be successful if you have a great routine, if you have great short game, if you have a great process mentality. It's amazing how far you can go. Well, thanks again for watching. If it's your first time to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one.